Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. I'm going to be out of town for a little bit this week, so I thought what I'd do instead of doing a build is talk to you about how the last few uh, builds and some of the future builds are going to go. I want to talk about how the filters for sale went and how that all turned out. And then also want to cover the round two version. I am going to put up a poll. We'll get to that in a second. We'll see how uh, or what interest there is in that. And the other thing I want to do is talk about the new sub build and how the poll for that seems to be going, which is kind of interesting. All right, first let's talk about uh, the last run for filters for sale. I had made four of these and offered them for sale. You know all the details for that, and they all got shipped. The great thing about it is they all got there in one piece, and it all turned out really, really well. I'm very pleased with this. My concerns when doing this sort of thing is always that you know the postal service is going to treat it like a football or something worse, and they're going to get there all cracked and damaged and uh, have to replace them. So uh, fortunately, none of that happened. Everyone, uh, as far as I know, is perfectly happy with what they've received, and like I said, it all worked out really, really well. And in general, I mean. Everything I've so far that I have mailed out uh, has worked out really, really well. One of them got cracked. There was a special build I did for somebody, and I replaced the parts that got damaged. And uh, that all turned out fine in the end. I was very happy with that. I've been pleased with absolutely everybody. You guys are actually really, really wonderful as clients dealing with uh, you know stuff that you get, and I'm very pleased. I only have one tiny little shadow. Uh, over this whole process and that comes from someone who decided they didn't want to pay for postage or something and that is just very odd considering it is just a minuscule amount of money but anyway I'm not going to let that deter me from round two so what I'm going to do instead of just picking a filter on my own oh well, by the way I'm not going to get a look at that all the time I'm going to show you the zebra daniels here I'm very pleased with how these are turning out now, as you can see, the larger ones now are about guppy size, and I, like I said, I'm very pleased. Uh, they're doing very, very well, and I'm getting ready for the next round of breeding. Uh, maybe not these guys, but uh, leopard daniels or these guys, one or the other. So uh, keep a, a keep abreast for that. So come by and have a look. All right. So as far as the new filter builds, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up a poll. Uh, I tend to do that an awful lot, I know. But what I want to do is see what kind of filters people are interested in. I'm going to obviously put the box filter up there again, underground filter, and I'm going to possibly pick up one or two more. They have to be things that, first off, uh, have a better chance of making it through the mail, uh, not take up too much space, you know all the drills. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, post up that. We're going to see uh, what people are interested in. I will, if possible, uh, try to make the run a little bit uh, broader. Not in just four, or maybe five, maybe six. We'll see what filter gets picked. Uh, see what kind of effort there is to make it. Certain filters are just not possible. Like a couple people have been asking me for diatom filters, and it would be very expensive because it's almost all uh, round stock, and that stuff is not cheap and there's an awful lot of detail in making one of those so that's not likely that sort of build will be a special one of and we'll see if i don't know we'll see how that goes i'm going to do this first and then we'll go from there so as far as the sump build it was initially neck and neck between a standard sump with high humidity planter and a sump dedicated to aquaponics so that has changed a little bit aquaponics is pulling ahead uh, it's almost I think last time I checked it was about 40% of the votes uh, which is interesting I'm not surprised because there seems to be an awful lot of interest for aquaponics out there me included by the way I actually am very interested in that I will have to make some changes to the lighting system for that tank I was planning to do something for that anyway so it's not really a big deal uh, but I want to make sure that that's done properly uh, because, uh, well, an aquaponics setup is going to require, uh, well, better lighting. And the nice thing about the current aquarium that it's on, there's an awful lot of African cichlids in there. Uh, they're not anywhere near as, um, <laughs> they don't have the same ability, I should say, to fertilize the water as, say, a goldfish would or something along those lines. Uh, but they have enough mass, I think they will be pretty good fertilizers. That's another thing we're going to check out as we do this. 
So my current thinking for this filter is a small section of standard sump, which is just going to you know get your mechanical filtration taken care of, uh, a little bit of biological filtration, because there are going to be an awful lot of fish in this. And then uh, the majority of the center, well, actually, sorry, the majority of the filter will be taken up by the center, is what I should say. And that is going to uh, be some form of aquaponics system. I'm going to have to get... Uh, well, not so much feedback from you guys on it, but I will have to work that so it will work properly. And then the final end, of course, the last chamber, I will shrink down a little bit, and it will be, of course, uh, where the pump goes, and the overflow system for uh, the whole thing, so it goes into my drains. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so far, like I said, those are the way it's, it is. I'm going to leave that pole up for a couple more days while I'm away, and then what I'm going to do when I get back is double check it again, make sure that uh, nothing has really drastically changed. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, go ahead with that build. So thank you very much for taking part in that, by the way. And as far as the new poll for the new filtration, uh, like the new filter builds, I will put that up when I get back, um, probably uh, Wednesday or Thursday. And we'll see what that involves. If you have a filter style you would like to see in that, like in the poll itself, uh, leave it below. Let me know. Uh, so far, like I said, I'll leave the, I'm only thinking of the two. Uh, keep it to be internal because that's the good thing about uh, internal filters is if the postal service is just a little rough with it and they break a seam, it won't matter as long as you know it's not cracked or anything. Uh, it doesn't have to hold water. Something like a hob, uh, we have to really pack it well, and that would obviously jack up the price for shipping. But it's not going to preclude that sort of thing, but just keep that in mind when you make your suggestions for that. Just let me know what you think, uh, and I'll put the poll together. We'll see where it goes. And as the last one, um, the box filters came out to about $70 each, plus $30 for shipping, unless you guys pick something that's really uh, big, uh, it should be roughly around the same thing, so keep that in mind as well. And definitely let me know. Uh, leave comments uh, and <laughs> tell me whatever you actually really have on your mind. I'm very happy to answer my comments. Uh, really do love all the feedback. So thank you very much for all that. Uh, I think I'm going to be away for a little bit, uh, but this is going to go up on Wednesday. Actually, by the time you may be viewing this, I'll already be back, So because I'm putting this up on Monday, or well, processing it on Monday, and having it, uh, you know, do up at its regular time. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about everything. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.